You know, you got the Niagara Fall tops. Oh, that's forward in my eye. That ain't coming out. Doesn't fire. This is a finger smasher getting ready to happen. Howdy, folks. Welcome back to Irish Outlaw Garage. Let's do an impromptu video, one that I wasn't expecting to have to do because I got a million other things going on. But hey, things happen. So this is our 1984 GT350 Mustang, 20th anniversary. Uh, originally a four-cylinder turbo, T-top, five-speed. This is a pretty rare car for all you guys that wonder. Uh, anyway, my son was driving this the other day. It has a V8 in it now because somebody ripped all the four-cylinder stuff out. Let me make sure I get that in there. Anyway, he's driving down the road. Feels a pop. Clutch cable. It's right there. Got a new one. I need to get this in here because I got things to do uh, on other cars and his infinite wisdom drove it up here in third gear and parked it right here. Can't start it. Can't get out of the way. So I got to do it right here in the dark. Just got home. So here we go. We got to get this thing jacked up. I got to take this right here is what comes out and again i apologize it is going to be dark on this video there's a little bitty bolt right down in there i gotta take that out little i think it's a six and then there's one bolt right there on that bracket that comes with the the new clutch cable and then i gotta get inside unhook it and then i gotta go underneath and get it off of that damn throw out bearing cover so let me get this thing up in the air Okay, like everything in this in these years, half metric, half standard. This one up here is a quarter inch. I got so many things to do. This wasn't going to be one of them, but here I am. So I had that unhooked. Maybe I don't. Yeah, we'll get to that later. Then there's one down here. And I'm sure that one's actually the 10 millimeter. It could be 3 8 I don't know. Let's, uh, let's find out, shall we? We'll get in there. There we go. Can't remember. It's been so long. Oh, be damn, it's 3 8 Let me show you this one, but ah, whatever. Let's get it out of there. These are a pain in the butt. Well, not really. I mean, it's not real hard. Bolt number two. Oh. Damn it, I ain't got my knife. Be right back. Okay. So, this was the other bolt. Just this bracket right here. No big deal. This bracket right here just bolts onto here, and that makes this thing completely loose. Uh, I don't think there's anything else all the way down to the, to the, uh, you know, the bearing puller forky thing. And then I just got to go inside and take the wire off in here. That'll take me a second. So right up there, you see that white plastic right on the end of that. That is the end of the cable, and you have to get that off there. It's not a big deal. And what that is is it's an automatic adjuster that breaks and goes bad and does all kinds of stupid shit. But uh, usually you can change those out. Uh, they make billet adjustables for it. And I'm not going to do that because this isn't a race car. So I'm not all that worried about it. I'm just gonna get the new cable on. So let me get that unhooked and we'll jump underneath. Right here's your your fork out there. If I can get the light to go in again, start. It's right here. And that cable hooks right here. And I already took the clip off and you can see the cable's gone and the little ball on the end of it broke off, so all this happened. And this just comes out just like that. I couldn't remember if this one had to cover on it or not. But, yep, now we just feed the, the new line down. I discuss with my son next time I see him about if he's checked the oil because this thing has oil everywhere and I can see it's leaking from a valve cover over here and a couple other places. But, you know, that's what dads are for, right? Nice and bright. It's kind of nice working on a white car for once. I mean, dang. Anyway, get this out of here. Like so, come on out. Yep, there's one end. That end's good. That was a brand new cable too when I put this in here. No wait, no I stole this out of the donor car with the transmission, that's right. Let's get this out of here. Watch the bracket. 
through all my wiring that I don't take my own advice on. Well, for damn. Yeah. Right. There. There. One bad clutch cable. I said, they're, just, they're a pain in the ass, but they're really not. They're pretty simple. The only thing I got to worry about is getting that adjuster loose. So let's get that down. Let me get the new one. They had these at O'Reilly's. About 28 bucks, 26 bucks, something like that. They're not too bad. Not too bad at all. And again, you can get these upgraded ones, and O'Reilly's can get those too. They're a, a bill aluminum adjuster. They got an adjustable cable on them for your firewall. You don't need any of that. This will this will work just fine. But let me get this through the firewall. Make sure I got that, and then I'll get the rest of it down through. Then we got to worry about the rest. All right. Got to go down through under the motor now. Just like so. Come on now. Hold on something. This moves. Turn that. Through there. I don't want to put that screw on there just yet. I want to get underneath there, make sure it's all lined up, nothing's hitting any exhaust or anything like that. And I think it looks pretty snazzy. No, no. Damn it, I missed. Did I go the wrong way? I think I did. Dang it, because the headers, I forgot about the headers. Well, oh, okay. Nope, nope, I need a light. I know y'all can't see this, but that's not gonna work there. So, oh, I see, okay. If I can get my hands up in there, damn it. That's why I didn't put that in on the top. Let's say, well, let me just go around the front. Is that how we got to do it? I think so. There we go. Get up there. No, that ain't right either. Where the frig is it going through that? No, there's nothing there. It can't go through that. It has to go. Oh, okay. I need to go. Cause that's hitting the that's hitting the steering. Can't have that either. Ugh, God. What a night. Okay, okay. Get up there, get up there, get up there. There is no good way to show you this. Ah, but I did it wrong. I got dirt. Oh, that's forward in my eye. That ain't coming out. Come on now. Go through, go through. Okay, that ain't bad. I just zip tie that to that, and that should be fine. We'll get away from there. There we go. Just like so. And then my little clip. I need to zip tie that over to there. So it stays away from the heat. Now wait a minute. Maybe I gotta go through the motor mount. I think I do. Okay. Take five and a half. Damn it. There we go. Come on through there. There we go. That way it stays away from the exhaust and the steering. Boy. I guess that's okay. Hmm. Anyway. My clip. Oh, is this loose? That is loose. Oh, I forgot to put the bolts in it. <laughs> Okay. 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 Starter's tight. Just checking things while I'm down here. Headers are rusty. That's great. They were only three hundred and some dollars. It's fine. And I think we're good. I think. Okay. Let me show you what I got. Okay. So there's all that. Got your cable going through the big hole slides into the little hole that's where it stays and then you got the clip holding that on and then this up here 
is where it goes. I had to, I couldn't remember where it went, but it goes through that motor mount right there. Hopefully you can see that. And then up around, and then I gotta put that bracket on there and then we'll get everything from there. But yeah, that's it. Not a whole lot. And this goes down and it slides like such. That ain't right neither. Damn it. Well, that's just great. No, that puts a bind in it. Doesn't fire. No, that runs it through there. Ah, that's great. Is this adjustable? Nope, that has to stay where it is. That's freaking wonderful. Oh, all right. I knew it was right all along. Where's my wrench? Right where I left it. Tight. <clears throat> All right. Don't look like it's hitting anything. Looks pretty free. And then you got to worry about this dude. And let me tell you, the hard part is getting this attached to the pedal. I'm probably doing it completely wrong, but whatever. Should probably hook it up inside before I hook it up underneath. That makes sense. That makes good sense. Because I can push that forward. No droppy. No drop. Can't see what I'm doing. Did I get it on the first try? I think I did. Don't everything just get my freaking way. Tell them ecstatic to be doing this on a Tuesday night after I just worked 14 hours. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. She's in. That can go there. Let me go underneath and unhook that sucker. Okay, so now that's an it's hooked up. Now I gotta pull this clutch forward somehow. I remember how the hell I did that. I think I used a pry bar. As I used to have to do this, shit, I'd break these freaking things like crazy at the drag strip because they didn't have all the fancy crap you got now. And I know this is freaking dumb, but it's got to go in there somehow. There we go. Smash my damn fingers. Uh, let me get a better angle at this somehow. Uh, let's spark. Let us do it backwards. There we go. Come on. No, don't. Please don't push the one in the in the car out. Please. This is a finger smasher getting ready to happen. <clears throat> Come on. There we go. Gotcha. Haha. -ha. I think that'll do, pig. Yep, she's in there. Nice and tight. Looks good, actually. The cable looks okay-ish. I'm still not real happy with how that's going. But we'll just have to leave it. That's just how it's gonna have to run. But, yep, then we'll just run the adjuster. It should adjust itself, unless it did break, but I don't think it did. Well, let's go up top and check. Hopefully that's it, and then I can address this oil leak at some time. I'll have to figure that out. It might be the damn breather. Nothing seems out of whack. Everything looks to where it needs to be. Let's check the clutch. Well. Yeah, it's adjusting itself. Boy, that's a that's a lot better cable. Yeah, that's got that's gotta be adjusted. That is way too tight. 
Uh, forgot how to do that. I'm gonna have to look it up. Well, that was easy. I totally forgot about that with the stock, the quadrant in the back on the club, on the clutch pedal here. You just pull back on it like that. Honk the horn so you wake up all the neighbors and then you just push it. There we go. That's better. It'll adjust itself. I forgot about that. Been a while, been a while. Should be good to go. Feels nice and snug too. Hmm. Hopefully. It breaks. Yeah, I don't know if I showed much of the inside of this car. Seats are shot, carpet shot, everything leaks. You know, you got the Niagara Fall tops. And, you know, originally this was a four cylinder turbo five speed. I have the original five speed, but it is a different five speed than the one that goes behind the V8. So don't just go engine swapping onto, you know, the V8 onto the four cylinder or whatever transmission because you will destroy it in about five seconds. But this thing needs a lot of work. It, it, it leaked. It's been kind of restored once, like not good, not good restore. So anyway, all right. I think that does it. No test drive. I'll let him do that. Maybe he'll break it. So figured out the oil leak. That little dude right there. It's just leaking out around it. So I'm gonna have to get a new grommet. Yep. I'll just get two of them. Probably get a new get a new breather too. I may put a damn PCV valve back in this thing. Fords run good with PCVs, so I may do that. But anyway, for now, I just have to say it. I don't have one. So that's gonna do it for this one. Just a short little video of changing the clutch cable in a basically every Fox body Mustang. Pretty simple, really. It's just a pain in the butt. Especially when it's right in your way and I got other things to do. But it needed to be done. He drives this every day. It's like everything else. We drive them. We don't let them sit. Even one as rare as this, it gets driven. If I did something, maybe I should have done something different. Put it in the comments. I love criticism. I like the smack talk, you know? Anyway, I got a lot coming up on this channel, a lot. I have a big announcement, something that me and my oldest son, Skyler, we're gonna be doing, the one that drives this car, uh, something in September. And uh, it involves our 1967 Buick GS340 that we call Bonnie. Huge announcement coming. I got a video coming up on her real soon. Y'all take care of yourself. I really appreciate you watching. My viewership is getting better and better every day and it pushes me to do more stuff like this to show you how I do it. I know it's hard to do it, you know, with a camera, especially in the dark. This is Y'all take care of yourself. Have fun for the rest of the summer, what's left of it. Peace.